the second book of Ezra, chapter 15, starting from verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations <clears throat> excuse me, against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The Lord's people are the Israelite, the twelfth tribe of Jacob, the twelfth tribe of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. The so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, the so-called Negroes, the so-called African American, because I says the so-called, because these are not our names. These are the names the oppressor put on us, pursuant to the curses in Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight that we're gonna be known. Eh? among these nations eh? as a byword, as, as a reproach to these nations that's right, that's why they call you black because there's nothing positive in the word black family if you look at that definition it's gloomy it's dark, it's wicked but we are not these are the names that the oppressor put on us. But before I bring this headline news, family, I would like to give honor and glory to our power. The power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it. That's the name that we're going to be calling on in the days that are coming. His only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel. He is the root and offspring of King David, the creator of everything that you see uh, through the spirit of his, son, his power, Yahweh, his father, Yahweh. The only begotten of the power, Yahweh. The prince of peace, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the redeemer and the deliverer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai meaning is the, the redeemer family and to you the elect i will say shalom i don't want this thing to be long i just I just saw it and the family the spirit was on me to bring it out you know because that yahweh says in the book of revelation nineteen ten that what the testimony the testimony of our king is the spirit of prophecy we are living in prophecy family everything that the lord our power, Yahweh, said it was going to happen before he sent his only begotten son. It's happening. As you see, the nation preparing for war, moving their artillery, eh? alliances being formed. This is the will of the Lord. He is the one mustering the battle. He is the host of the battle. He is the one bringing these nations together. Nothing happened without him sanctioning it. His name is Yahweh. Everything that is happening today, it was written years ago. That's why he says he will not give his what? His glory to anyone. Before it happens, he says what? He tells you of it. The book of who? The book of Isaiah chapter 46. We thank the Lord for blessing us with this gift. We don't take it for granted. We are, we, are, we are deeply indebted to our King Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, that he chose, he created 18 nations and he says, Israel is my portion. He is blessing us with salvation, family. He gave us laws and statutes and commandments to separate us from these nations, to make us special. We are the apple of his eyes. But like I said, I always say, that's this how the movie was written. We went off and he punished us. He gave us a, to, to these nations to serve them. And the time will come where he's going to send his only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel, Hawashai, to gather his elect. 
the Lord is not coming for everybody. He's only coming for his elect. They were chosen before the foundation of this earth for salvation. That's right. The Lord have nothing, the, the rest of the world have nothing to do with salvation. We are the one that's going to receive salvation. We're going to re receive new bodies. Give us a new heart, a fleshly heart, because we know that the laws were written on what? A stony. Eh? Was written on stone. Our heart is hard, but the Lord is about to give us a fleshly heart. Yes, the laws and the statutes, the laws, everything is going to be in our heart. We're going to be perfect before our power and His only begotten Son, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. This is the good news that is coming for the elect of Israel. That's right. This is the last song that we're going to be singing in the last days. That's why he says the prophet last. Yes. That's why he says what? Don't let fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. The imagination is against thee. People are going to come against this truth. But family, they can't do nothing against this truth but for the truth. And if our people don't believe, so what? That's their lot. The incredulity simply means the unbelievers. But it's okay. They're going to find out the hard way when they being turned into a barbecue because that's how the Lord is about to destroy this place with fire. He says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. This here is faith, family. You got to believe. You got to believe in his son, our redeemer, our king, the king of Israel, who is going to be among us on this planet. Family, let's get into it. Yes, let's go. It says, give, uh, this is from Zero Hedge. It says, give Kremlin a warning. This is not a warning. They know America is done. They don't, the, I mean, the, the America is losing its hegemony. It's plain and simple because the Lord says it was going to happen. And that's what you're seeing right now. The only thing left is war. Okay? When it's all said and done, America is going to be like Saddam and Gomorrah. The land America will never exist again. This has to, that's what this is where this is where everything is leading to. Yes. It says give Kremlin a warning. US nuclear apocalypse submarine enters Mediterranean Sea. It says multiple reports show that the world largest family, this was published today. Today's the seventh, right? It just came through my feed and family. Here we are. It's a multiple report show the world's largest nuclear submarine, the USS Rhode Island left the port of Gibraltar, no, Gibraltar, on Spain's south coast last week and was last seen entering the Mediterranean. British newspaper Daily Express says the nuclear submarine is reportedly heading towards the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. That's not far from Moscow, family. The Italian newspaper um, La Repubblica said USS Rhode Island, which arrived in Gibraltar on November 1st, entered the Mediterranean Sea on Friday. The Ohio-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine can carry 24 Trident II missiles capable of hitting targets 18,000 kilometers away. Earlier this week, Captain John Craddock Commander of the U.S. Navy Task Force 69 said, Rhode, Island is port of Rhode Island's port visit to Gibraltar reinforces our ironclad commitment to our allies and partners in the region. The U.S. and U.K. share a strong history of cooperation through exercises, operations, and cooperation activities such as this that enhance our combined capabilities and partnership. The complexity, lethality, and tactical expertise of Rhode Island epitomizes the effectiveness and strength of the submarine force. U.S. Rhode Island, USS Rhode Island arrival in the Mediterranean Sea comes after Russia submarine Geral, Geralismos Savurov launched a Bulova a Bulova ballistic missile from the YC as part of a training mission. Ohio class subs can patrol, sorry, Ohio class subs can patrol continuously as a highly effective tool for the NATO nuclear deterrence force 
and could be headed to a strategic position near Black Sea. As you can see, everything is coming together. But family, let's bring our way. Let's, let's go to the book of Isaiah 13. It is the Lord that is mustering the, the, the battle here. Family, we give credit to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Nobody's getting credit for this because he told us these things are going to happen. Eh? Before it happens, he tells us of it. So that's, that's the power that we praise, the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Family, every other power in this world is idle. Every God is idle. There's only one power, the creator of the heaven and the earth. And yes, he's the one that we can. We are only the only people that can call upon him. The rest of the nation can call upon him. The Israelites are the only people that can call upon this power. And his name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yukar Kodash. Let's get it. Isaiah 13. It said, the, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. The burden of Babylon. The burden of Babylon. Babylon, the great America family. Eh? Because we know the old Asian Babylon was not destroyed with fire. Eh? It still exists. That's the modern day Iraq. Yes, it's still there. Family, that whole region is still there. It was never destroyed with fire. But here, this one here is going to be destroyed with fire. He says here, Lift ye a banner upon the high mountain. This is the banner that we are lifting. The warning. We're telling you before it happens. We are the mouthpiece of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Whether you believe it or not, that is on you. Mm -hmm. It says here, Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. This, this, pre, this uh, word here is all over the news now. Eh? It's all over the news. They know that the Hebrew Israelites are waking up. That's right. Yes, they are calling upon their power and they know that their time is short. So whatever wicked things that they are planning, they have to bring it out. They have to bring it out. Because they says that in Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 says what? The devil knows that what? He has but a short time. So he's coming down with great wrath. Family, let's continue. It says here, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty one for my anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. That's what he is doing. Bringing all this nation, Iran, Iran, Israel, Saudi Arabia, uh, China, uh, Taiwan, eh? Greek, uh, what is it called, Turkey. Russia, U.S., NATO, it is the Lord. He's tell, telling you he is the one. He says, the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Eh? He says, they come from a far country, from the end of the heaven. And even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. This is what is coming. Eh? And we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are rejoicing. Hmm? We are rejoicing. We are rejoicing, family. We are rejoicing because we know that our king is coming. Because he told us these are the things that we're supposed to be watching for. And rumors of wars. This rumor is eventually going to actually become what? It will turn into actual war. It will not become rumors anymore. These are the stuff that the Lord told us to be watching for. All praises to our power. Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Let's hit another one. Family, and all of a sudden, look at this now. This was yesterday. Eh? It was also, it was yesterday, it says bulletin. This is from Hal, um, Hal Turner News. It says here, tall war put around Federal Reserve Bank, Washington on Sunday. This is a Federal Reserve Bank uh -huh. uh, in Washington, D.C. A 10-foot war went around the building. Do they know something that we don't know? Is something coming down the pipe? Family, you can trust these devils. But we know this is all part of the movie. The Lord says he's going to create chaos. Eh? He's going to bring chaos. A man's heart failing them for what is coming. Yes. Because we know the election, the U.S. election is coming tomorrow. Eh? Tomorrow, is it not tomorrow? tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday. And family, there's something else coming. But we know that this is the, this is the Lord is controlling everything. It says here, as shown in the photo above, a 10 foot tall wall was erected around the Federal Reserve Bank in Washington, D.C. today, Sunday. What do you suppose is the knowledge that, the knowledge they already have? 
that makes them feel they will need this type of protection from the general public. When I received this photo, I stopped what I was doing, went to the bank, automatic teller machine, and withdraw the maximum amount of cash I am able to get on any given day. Family, this story is accurate. You saw the photos and I actually went down, I went to another website and confirmed it. Yes, it says, I strongly recommend you have cash too. Right now, Sunday night, then more after midnight when the day resets and you can get more out of the ATM. Family, what is coming? We don't know. We know that the system is about to be collapsed because family, you will, we, will, we will get to that. We will get to that. But family, this is the end of, a, of, of an era, an, an end of an age, an end of this kingdom, Esau's kingdom. Jacob is next. This entire world is not going to be destroyed and everybody die. No, 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 family. That's not how the movie was. Mm -mm. We're going to get a victory. Yes. The Israelites, the hopeful elect, are going to get a victory. It is the Lord is about to take down this rulership. Esau, Edom rulership. Eh? The beast system. He is finished. This is it. The end of the road. I think there's a song. Is it uh, the end of the road or... I think there's a song called End of the Road. Maybe I would be wrong. End of the Road, family. This is it. I think it's Boys to Men. It just popped in my head. Sorry about that, family. Sorry I went off. Yeah, it's End of the Road. That's it, family. These people will never rule again. From here, they are going straight into slavery. That's right. Revelation 13, 10. And many scriptures. They are going to slavery. They're going to be seven. That's it. I was Isaiah 14. We go Isaiah 14. Read Isaiah 14. I think the three, the third, uh, I believe is the third, Isaiah 14, verse 3. Yes, they are going to sleep. They're going to serve the Israelites. All these nations are going to serve the Israelites. Family, let's bring another. So, family, as you see, the Federal Reserve Bank, Washington, D.C., you know, so if you, I mean, listen, we're using wisdom here. Okay, we're using wisdom here. The spirit of prophets, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, he says there will be mad men sparing none. Things are, things are, things are, things are popping up, family. And this is what we want. This is what we want. Eh? Look, look, listen to this. Now, there's uh, fuel shortages. Family, it's just chaos after chaos after chaos because we know that we depend on these trucks eh, to bring our food, our medicines to the pharmacy, eh? Uh, hospital supplies, we need these trucks. These trucks run on diesel fuel. Eh? Your grocery family, your, 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 your electronic stores, it is the trucks that bring these things in. Eh? The train family, they need the diesel fuel. And there's going to be shortage of diesel fuel. That's what they, are, they continue to talk about. You know, if there's a shortage of diesel fuel, what is going to happen? Eh? The supply chain is going to what? Yes, it's going to slow down. Yeah, so whatever is in the store, the prices are going to go through the roof. This is what is coming. But the Lord told us, the Lord told us these are the things that are going to happen, family. It says what? Jacob's trouble, uh, Jeremiah 37. But Jacob is going to be saved out of it. We just, listen, we are here to glorify our power, Yahweh Bahashem, because we are seeing an end of an era. And we glorify our Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, because everything that he said is happening. Let's read a bit of this. It says, truckers reporting no diesel fuel, parts of North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee. American truck drivers are sounding the alarm that diesel fuel is running out. It was on October 14 that the U.S. Energy Infrastructure Agency publicly stated that the nation was down to 25 days of diesel fuel reserves that will put the run out of date Tuesday, November 8. Wow. Tuesday, November 8? Which is tomorrow? Huh. Election day, family. We'll see. It said, yet diesel fuel continues to be refined throughout the country. So while reserves, sorry, while reserves may be down to 25 days, there was still ongoing production. Yes, as shown in the video below, truckers in North Carolina are reporting large 50-mile areas of that state without diesel fuel. And family, like I said, we depend on these trucks, okay, to bring our groceries, eh, our needs to these stores. 
and then guess what if they can't fill out their tank how are they going to get to these places or how are they going to transport our products so this is what is coming prepare your mind for it family prepare your mind for it you gotta have faith and believe that the lord is going to deliver you okay and here wall street banker predict dollar demise the greenback dominance will will gradually wane lawrence mcdonald says the U.S. dollar, which is enjoying its peak years at the moment, could lose its status of the world reserve currency. Former Lehman Brothers executive Lawrence McDonald told Sputnik News Agency. Yes, family, we know that because all this, um, this new system that is being formed, the BRICS system, right now is, head, is headed by China, Russia, India, South, South Africa, and Brazil. And then uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, all these nations are joining this BRICS system. It's a method of payment, a method of, a method of uh, what is it called, using your own currency, uh, uh, in tr uh, your own currency to trade with other nations. So they are walking away from the U.S. dollar. And family, this is, what's, this is going to lead to war, the Third World War, because the U.S. is just not going to just, you know, I don't <coughs> fold, you know, give up the power easily. Okay. They're going to, that's everything is leading to the Third World War. And we thank the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We can't wait for this thing to pop off. We are rejoicing to see an end of this wicked kingdom. Eh? Finally, the Israelites are going to be the head and never the tail. And this is what we're looking forward to. All praises to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. Let's go here. It says, it's not looking good. Martin Armstrong, this is another zero news. Martin Armstrong wants there may not be a 2024 election. 2024 is the U.S. Uh, election, uh, the presidential election. Okay, he says here, the legendary financial and geopolitical psych, cycle analyst Martin Armstrong says, the cheating in the midterm election next week is going to be so great that it is almost impossible to make a prediction. In a fair midterm election, the Republicans will win the House and the Senate. So what does his Socrates program see for next week? Armstrong said it's going to be tight and the Republicans have a shot at taking the House. Technically, they should take the House and the Senate. I am just not sure. The corruption is so bad, it's crazy. Family, that's what these people are known for. Don't believe it, family. At the end of the day, America is, America is not a country. America is a corporation. It's a corporation. Eh? America, at the end of the day, is a corporation. They don't, they don't care about the little guy. Eh? These banks, they continue to fail. And guess what? The government continues to bail them out. They are turning around and sending billions and billions and billions of dollars to this war. Iraq and, uh, sorry, I said Iraq. Ukraine and uh, Russia war. And look at their own infrastructure. Look at their, they are not even, from look at their own backyard. They don't care about the people. Election don't mean nothing. People are put in, in places. Family, those, those same two parties, you think they are different? No. This family, this whole system is, is fraud. Hmm? It's the biggest fraud going. People actually think their vote makes a difference. That's why the Lord pulled us out of that nonsense. We used to look forward to voting, eh? Yes, we thought we're actually making a difference. Right? Especially, we know that most Israelites, they follow what? They follow the Democrat and they are the devil. I mean, they're both devils, but they are the biggest devil. The Democrat Party. That's right. These are the agendas that they push. Every agenda that they push is contrary to the Bible. The LGBT and all these rights, all this wickedness. Yes. Right? They all this uh, was a plant parenthood in our neighborhood. Yes, let's continue to yeah kill our our young ones. Yes, this is what they push, and these are the parties that our people over the years continue to vote for. But that's why we cannot wait for the Lord to destroy this place, and establish a righteous kingdom because that nonsense is never going to happen in the kingdom. That's right. So whatever nonsense, whatever wickedness that you have to get it get it out of your system. Because our kingdom, Lord willing, is going to be righteous. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be righteous. Sorry, I went off there for a bit there, family. It's going to be righteous. It's going to be righteous. 
It says here the great. So this is where it's, everything is leading to family. This is this is where everything is leading to the family. Let's bring out a precept and glorify our power before I bring out that one. The last. Uh, let's go to um, uh, the book of. Uh, let's see Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter two. Listen to this family. It says, "Gather yourself together, ye. Gather together." Oh, nation, no desire. The Lord is speaking to Israelite because we are the nation that nobody cares about, the nation that is not desired. You see people out there saying, oh, I want to be, I want to be so-called black. No, no, no. They want our talent, yes. Eh? They want our, our bodies, yes, they do. Trust me. Eh? You have all these women out there paying some big money to have their butt lifted. They, have the, they want their lips, you know, all, all inflamed, Yes. They want everything, but yeah, the color of the skin, they don't want it. Yeah, they want everything that we have, though. our talent, yes. Because the world has been deceived. The world has been deceived, family. They take the so-called, the so-called white, uh, yeah, the supreme being. No, 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 no. They are the basis of men that the book said. They want everything that we have except the color of our skin. But we love it, family. Oh, we love it. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bashem. At one point, we were in darkness, and then he opened our eyes and told us, Listen, what are you doing, man? Eh? Why trim thy way to seek love? You are the apple of my eyes, man. Eh? You are the one I chose. Listen, it says, I have what? I have, I have written you in the palm of my hand. I have surnamed thee, Israel. He says, I have surnamed thee. This is what the Lord is telling us. He have surnamed us, family. Hey? He says, I've created 18 nations, but you are my portion. Just roughly paraphrasing. Hey? We are the salt of the earth. And the Lord is about to what? Now magnify it. Family says here, gather yourself together. Ye, gather together, O nation or desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes as the shaft, before he's talking about the judgment day for these nations, yes, and, and the two thirds of our people. The Lord is saying, Bring, come in, come in, prepare your mind, come, tend to me, tend to me before it's too late. It says here, Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes as the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger, come. Upon you, he says, Yes, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Who have wrought the Lord's judgment? Us, eh? The transatlantic slave trade, eh? The 70 AD, uh, what is it called? Uh, the collapse of uh, Jerusalem when the Romans move in, and then when we fled through the west uh, interior, the west coast of Africa. And from there onto the slave ship. This is what the Lord is saying. He says, we have wrought his judgment. See, seek righteousness. Eh? Seek meekness. It may be, ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You hear that? It says, seek him. Because the Lord's are the Lord, the Lord, the end is here. It is here. And it's fast approaching. Why do you think this nation, everybody is preparing for war? This is it. This kingdom is done. It's finished. It is finished. And that's why the Lord says, well, seek him. Eh? Seek ye the Lord. Anyway, let's bring the last article out. And then we're going to wrap this up, family. It says here, so this is where everything is leading to. The great reset. A perfect storm. Eh? Perfect storm. Eh? Collapse the economy. Listen, they're going to collapse the economy. Third world war. Food shortages. And then they're going to bring the solution. The digital. Remember, family, this is where everything is leading to. The CHIP mentioned in the, the book of Revelation. Actually, let's bring it out. Let's go to Revelation 13. Revelation 13, 16. We are here to warn you, family. You take this thing here, the Lord is going to kill you. They're like, literally, he's going to burn you with fire. You're going to turn into a barbecue. Eh? And he's going to prolong it. So you feel the pain. Yes, 
if you take this CHIP that they're going to introduce, they're going to force you, they're going to tell, they're not going to force, they're going to tell you that if you don't have it, you can't eat, you can't pay your rent, you can't go to work, but family, we rather die than to put this thing in our skin. Because the Lord says, if you die in my name, eh, standing for what? If he says he's going to do it, the Lord said we're going to be raised first. If we have to die for this too, it is what it is. If that's my lot, it is my lot. Who am I to question the Lord? He wrote the movie. You know, that's the mindset that we have to be in. That we, there's a potential for us to lose everything, but the Lord says he's going to deliver us. Because he told us, if you're trying to save your life on this end, you're going to lose it. He's telling, if you try, listen to me carefully, through the Spirit, if you're trying to save your life in this world here, the world that the Lord is about to collapse, they're about to destroy. If you're trying to save it by taking this CHIP under your skin, the Lord is going to kill you. It's not just going to be a regular kill. You're going to feel that burn, that fire just consuming you. So we are telling you, never. Don't take it. Trust in your power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh It says here. And he had power, Revelation 13, 16, 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Mm? The beast is the system, family. The whole system that they are building around us. You know, that Roman empire, the Asian Roman ways, the two-party system, their church, everything family, that's what you see right now, is their system. Now they have NATO, they have all these uh, European countries, EU. These are just vassal states. That's right, because the America, which, which is the whole, that sits on this many waters, hmm? America makes the decision. Whatever America says, they do. That's the B system family. And they had power to give life unto the image eh, of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. They are system. Because if you refuse eh, to play ball, you refuse to take this chip here, there's a potential they're going to say, okay, yeah, well, we have to put you down. And then it is what it is, family. That's the mindset that we have to be in. Yes, this is hard saying. But remember, the Lord, listen, the Lord, our, our Redeemer set example for us. The cup that his father gave him, did he turn it down? No. He took it and he drank it. Do you think he wanted to be slapped, spit on, beaten, and then nailed to the cross? Do you know the sorrow that he went through? There was a somewhere, at some, some, I think somewhere in John, he says when he, he at one point, Hey, he was so emotional. Hey, he says the sweat that was coming off his, his, his body was like the drop of blood. And then, this, and then the angels came to comfort him. This was not easy. He says, I overcame the world. That's right. I overcame the world. And look at where he is right now. Sitting in the right hand of his power. Our power, Yahweh. His father. Hey. Given all power, all dominion. And this is what we have to go through. So don't try to save your world. Don't, sorry, don't try to save your life. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because this is what's going to lead to. Things are going to get hard. But we have to trust that somehow, somewhere, the Lord is going to come through for us. He says here, verse 16, And he caused all both small and great. That's right. It doesn't matter who you are. What status do you have in this society? You're going to be forced to take this thing here. Rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's right. This mark is going to allow to access their system. It's going to allow to you to eat, allow you to work. If you don't, yes, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be either put down they're going to make things difficult for you. But family, yes, we're going to have the mindset of victory. Somehow, some way, the Lord is going to come through for us. Oh, he said it. The hour of temptation is coming upon all the earth 
But because he says what? You have kept my patience. I will also keep you in the hour of temptation which shall come upon the whole earth. And that's the comforter. That's what the Lord is saying. So family, that is where everything is leading to. The great reset. Mm -hmm. The storms come in many forms and may consist of many different consist. Uh, cont contingent element but when all these elements combine at the same critical moment we call it a perfect storm when such a storm is transposed analogically to the cultural political and economic realm that is when it seems to impact the entire social environment we have no choice but to grasp its significance and prepare for its onset by taking protective measures Such a storm is now upon us. All its elements clearly point to an orchestrated intention. In other words, it cannot be an accident. And the intention we discern in the current historic moment, the underlying plan will appear to lay the ground for what has been called a techno-totalitarian digital dark age associated with the club of rome the united nation and the world economic forum that is what has come to be known as the great reset you hear that you hear that family this is where everything is leading to the way they started with uh, two years ago you know that uh, uh, the, uh, the monkey piss that they said we should put in our body that's right. This is all orchestrated. That's right. And then they could they lock you down for two, three, uh, two and a half years. Yes. And then you became broke. They printed more money. Now inflation, family. This is where it's all leading to. But let's go to the book of. Let's finish with the book of. Uh, let's go to Job. Oh, family, this book is beautiful, man. This book here, this word. The book of Job. Job 20, verse 5. It says here, Knowest, let's start from verse 4. It said, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked, who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. He's the one ruling right now. Listen to what the Lord is saying. He said that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. It's only for a moment, family. Yeah, Yahweh is coming to destroy their plans. They are not going to fulfill their enterprise, family. Isn't that what Job said? Job, uh, what am I? Job, uh, I think it's Job, is it Job 20? That they will not fulfill, fulfill their enterprise. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's finish with this. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, eh? in the fullness of his sufficiency, when he thinks that this thing is about to take off, I mean, listen to this, this so-called reset, eh? about to take off. Listen to this. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Straits is what? Difficulties. That's right. He's going to be in difficulties. It says here, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. His own people, family, it is going to come upon him. And listen to this. It says, when he is about to fail his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. That's right. The Lord's fury is coming upon him. By what? By way of nuclear thermal missile to, dis dis to destroy everything associated with these devils. This is what the Lord is about to do. And establish a righteous kingdom. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're waiting for. So, family, I wanted to do, I wanted to bring that quickly to you, okay? And um, just know the time that we are in, okay? The Lord is with us. If the Lord is with us, nobody can be against us, okay? 
The Lord is with us. We have to be strong in the times that are coming. We have to be strong. Trust. Trust that He is walking with us. He's with us every step of the way. Okay, everything that's happened around His family is, is for our own good. Just keep that in mind. This is for the kingdom to come. Yes, we have to, you have to go through a little hardship, but this is, you, listen, at the end, it says, well, it says, the suffering, I think the Apostle Paul that said, it says, the current suffering of this world doesn't compare to the glory that the Lord is about to reveal in us. Just roughly paraphrasing. So this is the mindset that we have to be in. Yes, we are, we are going through some hardship, things are going to get tough, but listen, man, you got to have focus, man, the Lord is coming. Family, the Lord is about to give you a new body. The Lord is about to give you a new heart. You're going to be the head and never the tail. And this is the mindset. This is what we have to think about. And how, you know how you're getting out of here? You're getting out of here in a chariot. The Lord is going to beam you up. The so-called UFOs, those are the Lord's chariot. That's how you're going to get out of here. So family, with that, I hope you were edified. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Shalom, beloved.